Sir, His Majesty requests that I explain to you in details of Calder's death. First, Calder was discovered in a corner of the plains a little outside of the town's main gates as his patch upon receiving information by the passer discovered by the avenged corpse. The autopsy report suggests that he was killed by a monster. However, right beside mangled the corpse lingered the suspect Wally. We held Wally down, but no matter how much we interrogated him, he kept silent. He wouldn't say a word. Then we tried retracing Calder's steps. The night before the incident, a number of townspeople as well argued on the street. Therefore, we arrested Wally on suspicion. However, as I mentioned before, Wally has not said a thing. He's traumatized. With no proof of Wally's guilt, the investigation is currently at a standstill. This is the end of the report. No nothing else stands? Let me think. You mentioned it when we act. Uh, the witness, they all told us that it was because there was a strange smell. A strange smell? We smelt it too. We arrived at the scene and it smelt like something was rotting nearby. But I don't remember exactly. Uh, well, I don't want to prosecute this man. Wiley. It's no use. All he hasn't said a word since he got here. All we could find out is that he's from and worked in the tavern. Okay. But are you aware that regularly log complaints from local townspeople? I was not. Were you not? Until then. However, the lead minor dispersities to approve that we began to listen to what the townspeople have said. There had been claims of spooky voices coming from the house of a man named Dolphur late at night. Okay, naturally other residents are becoming uneasy. The spooky voices. So nothing's on the left side. I pretty much handled everything over there. So maybe talk to this guy? Hey, on. Um. 
So check out the tavern. Give me a break. Would you please not shout at me? You gave me a fright. Listen here, lady. You refuse to pay even after eating and drinking all that. Who do you think you are? Pay? What would I need to pay anything? Are you serious? You're the one who provided me with this humble meal. I do appreciate it, but I don't understand why you're so angry. I ate something like this. It was a little disappointing, if I'm honest. I'm sure there have been food in the slums. This kind of fish shouldn't be worth any money. Speaker if I even ate it. Listen. Don't you young lady me. I don't know who you are or where you're from, but this is the place where you pay to eat and drink. The amount you ate is 2000 I recommend you pay up. Oh, I didn't know that. I guess that's how commoners get their money. It's interesting what you can learn traveling along. It's great that you've learned something new, but I'm still going to need you to pay up. I'm afraid I cannot. Why not? Because a noble like me cannot simply cannot pay for such a lowly mill. Fine, have it your way. I'll just get the police involved and you'll be arrested for not paying. It's the same as that. Oh no, you wouldn't do that. My friends and family wouldn't let me hear the end of it. Anyways, you're the one who should be arrested for serving such a shabby mill. This isn't getting anywhere. Am I glad to see you here right now? I know you're a busy man, but could I ask you to deal with this young lady? My name is Amaris. I'm a proud, wom normal woman. Whoa, I do not want to deal with this lady. This lady is... That young lady says she's in some noble. She ate my stock dry and said it was alright. I have no idea what the, she was thinking about this is a business. I feel sorry about the place she... Will you let it go if I get the money? Sure, if I, I get 2,000 G's she owes, then I guess I'll be fine. Oh my god. So I'm gonna end up having to go and freaking... You are the operator. Are you not? No. I do not know if I'm still no, though. Why is that? I'm being... But I'm also a skilled wizard. Seeing my talents, I was rather persistent in advancing me forward. He was too persistent, so I froze him where he stood. I made sure that sh he would dull out, though, so he should live. Dude, you're a wizard. Then one day, <laughs> you froze a person. Then one day, some soldier came to my estate. They tried to arrest me, not knowing why. I froze them, I ran away. Gentlemen and Froze must have ordered them to come after me. I just wanted them to chill out for a bit. And always, fast forward to now, I have no intention of paying any money. I do not remember having to pay money for food. I don't even have any money with me. Even if I was willing to pay, I cannot. Sorry for him, but the money isn't just handed to you on a plate. You have no idea what responsibility is and you're stupid. Okay, um... Okay. Well. <sighs> that goes that. Um. Spooky voices say, I didn't realize I was disturbing the neighbors. I'll tell them to be quiet. Whose voices are they? Why are the voices of those suffering in my experiments? Oh, but don't worry, they're just a bunch of criminals. Come on, the Defro. Ooh. You can purchase Defro from for the right price. Of course, there are restrictions on how you should in both of them as to not violate, that is. As for me, I'm experimenting on them to make advances in medicine. You seem to please. I suppose human experiment doesn't sound good. However, I've obtained these criminals well, legitimate means. With them, I'm retraining my skills night and day to improve. Is there something wrong with what I'm doing? Even the counselor has acknowledged my achievements. Now, if you have no more business. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I know what you're thinking. But like... Even the counselor has acknowledged. Okay, the counselor. So I should just talk about the counselor. Yo, counselor, you know that he's like experimenting people and stuff? Yeah? Cool. Um, do you think it's wrong? No? Okay. I mean, they're definitely Like... These people are not good people. Though... Here, you can look at somebody and be sent sentenced to death. So, it kinda goes here and there. Uh... Given up all of my money here. <laughs> and there doesn't seem to be anybody in any of these rooms. Okay. Well. Ooh, okay. You're at the arbiter, right? The person who saved my life is about to be arrested. Please help me. Okay. A little while back, I was attacked by a monster outside the city. I was about to be ready to give up, but that's when Yamato showed up. He slaughtered the whole group of monsters in no time. He's a quiet man with a few friends, but he fights like a god. He was so cool, but then that's when I reported the incident. Some big wig government went berserk. He burged into my house and they arrested him. Apparently, when the country was still at war, Yamato was part of the resistance group. He was a remarkable warrior and killed many of the warriors. But that's all in the past, right? They shouldn't arrest him for something that happened so long ago. It's all my fault. Please, you have to save Yamato. I'll be more comfortable in my house. Mind coming over? Okay, sure. I really can't believe I actually met you. My name is Brown. I've actually been a dream of mine since I was little to fight along. Along? That would be so cool. Of oh, the sword and shield, the creation soldier. Every boy has that dream. I tried to learn the very reason. I'm actually quite confident on how I look. But I'm ready to give up on that dream. Really? Let me tell you about my judgment case. I want you to judge the man who killed my parents. Someone killed your parents? It was a long time ago. My parents owned a store and was in a Mac store, but they knew what they were doing. Three of us lived com quite comfortably. It all it took was one man destroyed everything I knew. The man who had worked a lot with my father he came to our house many times. But that man betrayed my father. One day, the man suddenly came to our house. He said it was for some business. He was my father's best friend, and of course he helped him. It was quite a lot of money though. My father even had to use some money from the store. The man just disappeared. The father couldn't even get in touch with him. 
The shock of being betrayed, my father became ill. And shortly after that, my mother got sick, and it was all, I was all alone. I did all I could to one day avenge my parents. At long last, I found the man who tricked my father. His name is YZ. He calls himself the Merchant. He came to, a while ago, and he's staying at the inn with some group. I knew it was him when I saw him. He looked the same uh, all those years ago, so I followed him. I was going to attack him when he was by himself, but I couldn't do it. I spent all those years training how to fight till one day I avenged my parents and suddenly became scared of killing another person. If I couldn't kill him though, I should get the arbor to judge him. Excuse me, Brown, there's a delivery. Excuse me for a moment. Again, who is Chris and keeps doing this? Sorry, I keep getting these donations. Donations? One day, I started getting regular donations. They're the very reason I've been able to live the way I do. Whenever I ask the carrier who said that they said they can't tell me, Anyways, the conversation drifted a little, but I want you to judge. You think it's the merchant that borrowed money? And I'm back. Okay. Do do do. Traveling a new town. Okay, Yamato. I'm taking you to the castle. You have been summoned by His Majesty. Why do I have to go to the castle? Are you disobeying the king's orders? I'm only asking why. What does his majesty want with a, someone like me? Because you are the danger to our nation. Not right, Yamato, the slayer. Don't call me that. We never thought we'd find you here after you fled the country all those years ago. You murdered hundreds of soldiers in your rebellion. You run loose would put the country at risk. Now his majesty has called for you. Who are you? We're on official business. He's closed, an archer. Hey, soldier, this archer says he has business with you. Well, that man was close, wasn't it, Yamato? I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Don't worry, this is all my fault, anyways for you troubling you. However, I suggest you don't interfere with another nation's business. What are you saying? He's here to save. I don't need saving. Please leave. When the story ends, we'll appear and its myths will be passed down or near here. Something to do with this. Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Nice. I like her. Okay. Um. It's you, you fall into darkness. My father's really into fortune telling recently. She's taking this way too serious. Why did I order so much? I think I'm gonna be sick.
five crystal. That's actually kind of cheap. go into the tavern until next time thanks again can I help you I see if you know that much already I suppose there's no hiding it I never imagined that our trooper would get involved in this well what Brown told you is too what about it the world of trading isn't all butterflies and rainbows. Brown's father was foolish enough to trust me. I'm not the one to blame here. Who in their right mind would simply give away huge amounts of money without a written contract? He was skilled, a merchant. He was too soft. Even if I hadn't done it, someone else would have done the same thing to him eventually. I'm sorry if I sound cold, but that's how it is. Seeing as the archer is questioning me like this, I suppose I can... Take like judgment soon. I won't fight it. I saw me in the tavern just now. Master Wines is a client of mine. I just went there to tell him something. Didn't I see you at Brown's house too? Huh? No, that's impossible. I just have a really typical face. Ah, oh, fine. I'm actually contact contracted not to say anything. It's just as you guessed. Ask me to make deliveries. You see what's inside the packages are, right? I don't know why he's doing that though. He's just the mailman. You got what you wanted, now leave me be. So he's been supporting him. Through donations. He still hates the man, but... Gonna go check out this castle. Like to protect our nation, I have to dispatch soldiers. The castle is under man. We owe a great debt. The rent is tight. If we were an entrepreneur, I'd judge more for more money over and over. Pretend you didn't hear that. What is it? forget the man. The man doesn't have to do what he's doing. The moment I saw you, I thought you were going to judge me for sure. While I do have my reasons, I understand what I did was wrong, and I know that nothing I will do will ever change that. That's why I've been supporting Brown financially. I thought so. You did, did you? You were scarier than you appear. 
It was the least I could do after what happened to my best friend. Well, give me a break. Brown. Are you ashamed of what you did? What you did to my father and mother? If it is revenge you want, then so be it. What are you saying? I know why you trained to fight with the sword. Now you have your chance. If you want to kill me, then I'm willing to accept that. You coward. Now the Arjura has pardoned you and I have no choice but to accept that. You are right. I am a coward. Lord, I shall return to the inn. Thank you for your judgment. I would be grateful if you came along with... If you get the chance, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Greetings. Okay. I've been waiting. You want to talk? Yeah, sure. I would like to request your judgment of a particular person. Your man's name is Curtis. He's a prominent merchant. That it's the country's market. He is building large houses on top of common people's houses. Wealth is great. He's swayed by over-government. Surrounded by dark rumors, I receive information he's carrying out illegal deals in secret. He's many enemies, and he has hired brown guards to keep him safe. Are you so concerned? It's a long story, but it began when I lived here. My work wasn't doing so well, and I... Troubled, but I finished, and I was introduced into this opportunity. They were asking me for the investment. Of course I believed, and in great return, I was infatuated with the opportunity. However, I had no money to invest. That's when I asked for some help from a caravan I knew, my best friend at the time. If it all went, I could pay him back, and then so. We were best friends, so he trusted me. I was so sure, talking about Brown's father. You may not believe, but I had no intentions of betraying my best friend. Anyways, I paid the guy who told me the investment. However, this mining never started, and I lost contract. The guy I paid. That's when I finally realized I was tricked. He drew me in with a fortune and a false promise, and I, uh, I fell for it. I don't really remember what happened after that. The fact that I was tricked, what should I do? I lost track of who I was, battling all these emotions. Before I knew it, I left town and collapsed near. Luckily for me, a cab ran and found me. I somehow found success. And my hair I went through gave me the strength to keep going. Sorry, but you... <laughs> I don't deserve desire revenge. I didn't... I have... Don't have the right. Maybe I just wanted to see how you would judge this. So... Super sketchy man. Owns a bunch of houses. Is building it over, like, poor people's houses government's like yo these houses look great and pretty much not only do these houses look great but um basically they're kind of letting him get away with it can i help you with something oh god <laughs> yamato I heard that some of those who planned the rebellion have been trying to contact him. It is worrying. I bring a message from His Majesty the King after reporting your activities. The Majesty says that if you make the right judgment, he will bestow upon you the nation's prized skill orb. We pray you make the right decision.
Okay. Go this way, do 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 do. Okay. Who are you? Oh, I did wonder who you were when I saw your clothes. You're the operator, aren't you? I'm Curtis, a thrifty trader. This lady is my guard. Greet the operator. Hi. Nice. She is a great warrior, but not one for formalities, I'm afraid. May I ask what business the Arbiter has in place for this? His father died, you said. Sorry, I didn't know nothing about it. Anything else I can help you with? Mining this, I'm afraid I don't know him. Even if I did have some business with him before, I can't remember everyone, you know? What is it that you wish to ask me? Master, it's time for you for your next deal. I'm a busy person. I have to get on with some vital business. Don't think you're being a nuisance meddling in other people's nation's affairs. So the deal will go down in the grassland. Got it? Let me, your master know. Just know that this guy is dangerous. Plus I heard that area is unsafe these days. Are you sure one guard will be enough? You want me to cut you up or something? Oh no, I know you can hold your own. I didn't mean it like that. Stop wasting time and get back to whatever it is that you were doing. Okay. Okay. Let's go this way. I don't think I went this way yet. Activity Talisman. Ooh, what does that do? Sleep Resistance. Um... Yes, I need Sleep Resistance for sure. I don't think my character is going to really fall asleep per se, but I don't, I don't even want to risk it. It's not worth it. Bum, ba -da -ba -ba. Ooh. So Chris, you have the money, right? Of course. Hey, take out the sample. What was that sound? Whoa, he died. When creation's name just happened. Is that 
Mesa. thought I was done for, but you saved me. You were the... Why were you there anyways? Just as the other suspect, you were trading illegal goods. Who in Christian name are you? You don't remember me. Anyways, if you excuse me, I'll let the other deal with the rest. Are you gonna judge me? No, my money, my reputation. Turner, deal with this man. He can't do anything if he's dead, arbiter or not. Dude, I just saved you. He's too strong, I don't think I'd stand a chance. What? I thought you, there was no one that you couldn't beat. Don't tell me it's because he's an arbiter. No, it's because he's... It's not just because he is. He's an arbiter because he's so strong. I'll fight him if you order me to, but who will protect you if I die? Oh, no, 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 no. I know. I will confess my crimes and hand myself in. What? I'll tell them everything. I will comply even if they send me to jail. And er, to say what you've done, I'll give you a, a lot of treasure. Is being sent to labor really that bad? Please, Lord. You judge my master, I'll be sentenced to. Anyways, my master says he'll turn himself in. This isn't even your country, can't you just let it go? If my master turns himself in, I'll be free. I'll even fight for you. No, F you. You're going. I'm sorry, but I already have enough party members anyways. F this man. Punish him. I'm glad I came to you about it. You're a great arbiter. I've seen that with my own eyes. I decided to move on to somewhere else. Curtis was the reason why I came here in the first place. As long as Brown has an arbiter like you around, you will suffer no longer. Thank you for your judgment. mad at me. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to arrest him. This does not want your help. Yamada does not want my help. Yamato's existence may disturb the peace. You saved the man. I just see what's so dull that the outcome he gave you this. Essence of flame. You pray for your content. What is that? Increase fire fire. Well, I don't care about that.
guy's gonna hate me too. I can't. Uh, I mean, he was so cool, and he got rid of all those guys, but he was a criminal, and those people were just trying to pay do with their country. Um. Okay, I got enough money. Time to go back. Going to the inn. Uh, tavern. Sure, if I get two thousand dollars she owes me, then I'll be fine. Forgive her, and then I'll pay the two thousand. Great, I received two thousand G's owed to me. Let me see. You should be grateful that the arbiter here. I was about to call the cops on you. All right, thank you for getting me out of this trouble. Now that is all over and done with, I should be on my way. Farewell. Goodbye. Are all rich people like these these days? I'm sure I'll see her around again. Okay, report to the smell. Fuck. Forgive. I'm gonna forgive him. Even me. I do wonder why you can sort of evidence. You must have had your reasons. I will not question them. Keep up the good work. I think it, maybe it was the Mesa. a counselor scholar or something. You're an arbiter. May I have a moment to tell you something? Okay, sure. I'm sorry for bringing this to you. What is it? You came to see the master after hearing the rumors of the resurrection, did you not? I thought so. The master used to work for Libra long ago. He was always shocked in his research. 
Then his wife fell ill. He had to care for her. His wife's funeral. The master quit his work at Libra and moved here with his son. Then it was several years ago. While his son was returning from a trip, his carriage was attacked. His son did not make it. The master lost his entire family. When he changed, he was always a quiet person, but he won't even smile. He's going crazy. We're searching ways to bring back his dead son. Then the rumors spread before we knew it. Lord, if the rumors are true, if the master really is trying to resurrect the dead, it is because of his sorrowful past. His intentions are not bad. I'm sorry I raised my voice. I must go back. Please do not be too harsh on my master. Okay, so, okay, so the rumor wants to bring back his dead son. to know where you should invest. My final investment. The truth is my son, granddaughter, you see, she she's gone and had a son. That's why I like this to be my last investment. I want to give everything I have left to my gra grandson. Without further ado, you must decide where my last investment should go. I'm just saying, like, yeah. Amnesia. Or, rope. Okay. That's all I need to know. Okay, cool. Our economy went up. Upper mansion. So, daughter's being stalked. Is this the quiet woman over here? Apologies for late. My daughter, Anna. She's good in nature, but in several days now, she seems she hasn't been eating well. I asked her what's wrong, and she was reluctant to tell me at first, but it seems that there is a man stalking her. He shows up at her work and follows her home. This it's traumatized her. She's afraid to even leave the house. The guy's name's Jake. He's a fine young blacksmith. Talk to Anna. She might tell more. Okay. What is it? It's about a man. I'm sorry, but I'm not feeling well. Could you please leave? 
Why? You're a blacksmith, gonna come over here. He never comes out for drinks. He's a pretty handsome guy, too. Jake? Okay. What, Mies? Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but there must be some mistake. I just want to be a great smack. I have time to waste on anything else. Stuff's not adding up, so ladies just kinda, you know, insane. Okay. Jake, everybody's like, yo, Jake hasn't done anything. Thank you so much. That was a close call. I have no idea what's going on until my friend told me. I said this for the kind of blacksmith. I didn't even notice anything like that was going around me. That Anna girl's gone missing. Many people think that they're, you powdering me is the reason she's gone. Even if it is true, not, it's not true. Sorry, your reputation took a hit because of me. Don't worry about it. Thank you for saying that. I'm relieved. I was kind of worried all along that her life has changed for the worse because of me. I worry about her. What is she doing now? Is she eating okay? What's her life like now? I think it affected me. I was so focused on becoming a blacksmith, but nowadays I can't concentrate on my work. I'm sorry, but I needed to go and think about it for a while. So don't not talking with that guy. Scholar about books. Is that so? Edward Serpent told you that. However, now that you mention it, while resurrecting the dead is against the laws of nature, it is unclear whether it actually validates creation's order. In any case, it is in fact possible to resurrect the dead. It will open up greater properties for medical treatment. Whether it succeeds or fails, our scholars would love to get their hands on such uh, his research. My apologies, I got it carried away may be able to give you more insight into this. 
I Libra. Slebe. So I go back to Le Bay. I see, so you would like to know whether resurrecting the dead violates the creation's order. I'll tell you what I know. You see, there is no clear answer. And why is that? No one ever has successfully done it before. There are two cases in which people have attempted it, however. One dug up his grandfather's grave and tried to bring him back. The other had lost his beloved wife to a sickness. Both in which were judged by arbiters, however there are no records of them becoming divine enemies. Arbiters at the time must have judged them at their own discretion. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? As I told you to begin with, there are no recorded cases of anyone successfully resurrecting the dead. In other words, just as the previous officer did, you should judge this based on your own discretion. I'm sorry, we do not know yet. To bring back his dead son to life, it is unknown whether... You know what, I'll allow it. F it. No, it's better to would be disappointed with your judgment. However, you must have had a good reason to do so. Understand that. Scholar, however, are supportive of this outcome. Because it will give them a rise of scientific techniques. For the time being, we will serve very closely. As always, thank you for the judgment. Dang! Okay. Man, my fame just keeps dropping. He is a truly a hero. So now I can judge this other guy. Um, yeah, you know what? Claims there's been reduced the fatality rate of disease. Um, you know what? You can judge me all you want, but if they're death row inmates and they have killed and done terrible things. And they're gonna die in a ways, you might as well use them for medical purposes to advance society. I'm just gonna say it. Give them a purpose. The counselor came to me afterwards. He told me that Lord has made an enormous contribution to medical knowledge. I understand why people oppose human experience. I personally feel that a result cannot be disregarded. While the people may be uneasy with what's going on in their city, they have no choice but to live with it. Okay. Rumors of an assassination prowling about the Chancellor, the Commissioner, and the Chancellor. Okay.